What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Triple Cap here, and today we're going to be doing something a little different. I mean, I'm going to fly, but still, we're doing, we're achieving something with this flight today. I'm doing two things, actually. Number one, I'm testing out this new Zelo Stax combo. It's an F4 flight controller with 45 amp BL Heli 32 ESCs. The main reason I've upgraded to this stack is because I wanted to try out the RPM filters that Bardwell is suggesting. My previous hardware and software was not compatible. The flight controller may have worked, but the ESC definitely not. So, I went ahead and ordered this Zelo Stax so I could apply those new settings and the updated beta flight and check it out. I mean, if Josh Bardwell says you need to do this, trust me, you need to do this. We've all heard Josh say that if you'd like the way your quad flies, don't worry about upgrading to the latest software. It's not necessary. Well, he's taken a step back on that statement for this new release and these RPM filters. He's saying if you don't have it, you probably want to try it out because it's just that much better. It's supposed to be that much more of an improvement. So today we're going to be testing it out. This is not a real in-depth review or anything like that, but I am going to just, I'm going to apply the settings. I'm going to try it out and, and see what I think, you know? Like I said, I'm doing two things here. I'm testing out this Zelo stack. It's got some decent reviews. People seem to like it. So it's also really cheap. It's only 75 bucks for the ESC, 4 one ESC, and the flight controller. It comes with the little nice soft mounting gummies. It's got OSD. So yeah, this flight stack has quite a few uh, nice features that I'm looking forward to using. I've never had OSD. Um, I had it with my Foxier Aero camera, the little you know OSD that lets you check your voltage or something. That was great. I mean, that's really all I need OSD for as far as a necessity. But it's going to be nice to have the built-in OSD with all those different features and different things I can display on there. So I'm looking forward to that. That's what I'm trying out today. I'm going to be using this combo with Joshua Bardwell's recommendations as far as Betaflight goes. If you're interested in what I'm doing as far as the, the settings and everything, just go check out Joshua Bardwell's video. I'll put a link in the description and you can see for yourself exactly what he suggests. Joshua Bardwell is a smart guy. He's into this stuff. I trust his word. He says do this. He says it's pretty good improvement. It should, in most cases, it will make your quad literally fly better. So how can you not do this? I'm doing it. A lot of other people have done it and a lot of other people are having good uh, success with it. So with no further ado, let's get this thing rolling. Whoa. All right, we're heading out to do the first test, which I'm just going to fly around my yard. After that, everything comes back okay. We'll take it to the field. I didn't see that branch. Everything seems to be okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was a pretty good test. The motors all stayed pretty cool. Everything was fine. Yeah, the branch jumped out in front of me and I kind of crashed a little bit, but we're fine. We're good. Everything, no damage. Everything was good. Next step is to take it out in the field and give it a good try and hopefully everything works out just great. So with that being said, and the wonderful magic that is video editing, let's head to the field. All right, and just like that, we're magically teleported to the beautiful field that needs to be cut. But that's okay. Uh, let's put this thing to the test, shall we?
first pack. Um, I don't know, it does seem a little smoother. There's something different about it. Now I should mention that everything's default as far as the uh, beta flight uh, settings, the PIDs. I, ha I didn't touch the PIDs. I didn't do anything with them. I did adjust my rates to use my regular rates because I like slower rates. But other than that, I didn't do anything. It's very windy today. So hopefully we'll get a, at least a decent idea of how this stuff performs. Right off the bat, I feel a difference. Is it a huge difference? Eh. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Um, like I said, I didn't tune anything, so. I don't know if this is gonna be a very accurate representation of the of how great it is. It does feel different. It feels, it, it just something about it. It's really hard to put to words, but something about it does feel different in a good way. I did notice a little bit of prop wash, a little bit of bobbling. My motors are still pretty cool. I could move, adjust my settings a little bit. Joshua Bardwell mentioned in his video about this little slider and I could probably afford to adjust that slider a little bit and maybe that'll help some. So I'll probably do that on the next on another video, probably the next flight. Probably won't do it today, but um, so far it's it seems okay. So we're gonna put another pack on and give it another shot and see what happens. That's gonna conclude this little test. Um, it's hard to really tell um, what the differences are right now. I mean, I think looking at my HD footage will be easier because I can see the little bobbles. But to be honest with you, completely honest with you, it's very windy and those that wind creates a lot of bobbles and stuff. And I was feeling some bobbling and some shaking a little bit. Not a whole lot, but just a little bit. And it very well could be due to the wind. And I don't know if you can tell, but the wind is kicking pretty good. Actually, it's not even blowing hard right now like it was when I was flying a moment ago. But, I mean, I heard stuff in the trees and stuff crackling. I was sitting here panicking, thinking something's going to fall and crack me in the head. I believe my quad could use a little bit of tuning. Um, I did compare my PIDs to what I had compared to what the default were. And they are off by quite a bit. So I will probably do a little tuning. But overall, it flies great. It seems wonderful. It seems fine. I, can't, I have no complaints. It felt locked in. It really did feel locked in. That was one thing that stands out. The main reason I wanted to, to update to this firmware and try the RPM filters was mainly because I was getting a lot of bright vibrations. Not really tuning related, just the quad itself vibrating. Probably the motors, these cheap $12 Emacs Eco motors. But um, even in videos when I'm flying pretty smoothly, you can still kind of see just a hint of that vibration creating a little bit of, just a real tiny bit of jello. I was hoping this would get it out, so. And if not, I'm gonna blame it on the wind and we're gonna try this again on another day. But overall, everything seems to be working as described. The Xylo flight controller uh, ESC stack is working pretty good. I have no complaints with it. Everything did exactly as it's supposed to. The OSD is working great. I've actually got the little artificial horizon and the crosshairs and everything set up in there, so that was really cool. So overall, as far as a product or a software or a firmware type review eh, I think everything's great I think it's all good um I can't sit here and say that it was amazing I want to I want to say oh my god this is unbelievable but in my honest opinion eh, it's okay all right guys anyways I appreciate you watching be sure to hit that like button subscribe if you want to see more content mostly it's just me flying around and and trying to grab hold of this awesome hobby all in all guys i think that's a wrap i'm gonna pack this up and throw you guys a video till next time
Caps out.